what made you decide to give it a try here in the BPO industry? How do you usually handle feedback in general? Can you describe to me your attitude when you're working with multiple tasks? Why do you think it's important to conduct call simulation and incorporate it in our hiring process? Alright, so may I call on Rene and Oveso? Yes, good afternoon. Yes, please have a seat. Uh, good afternoon as well. So yeah, how are you doing so far? I'm doing good today. Mm, that's nice to hear. And how does it feel that you made it here to the final interview stage? Mm, I feel nervous but excited at the same time. That's nice to hear. Well then, I believe you're prepared already? Yes, I actually prepared for this interview. So uh, before we start, let me just take a quick look here on your CV. It says here, your full name is Rene Enovesa, correct? Yes, that's correct. And is it okay if I address you using your first name? Yep. Okay. And, oh, you're a fresh graduate. Yes, a college that's grad. So aside from that, oh, I can see here that you don't have any work experiences yet. Yes, I don't have any work experiences, right? So, I'm just curious right now, since you're a college graduate with no BPO experience or work experience at all, what made you decide to give it a try here in the BPO industry? Or let's say, what's your idea generally about the work here in this industry? Even though I'm a fresher, I don't have any work experiences yet, mm -hmm. but I did a lot of research about BPO and I learned that it's all about customer service. It's about providing excellent customer service to any customers. It can be an offshore or onshore. It depends on the client. And I also learned that the difference between inbound and outbound. About inbound, the customer service representative needs to receive a call from the customer. And then the outbound call center, it's all about giving a call to the customer. It can be an outgoing calls or cold calling. Generally, it's all about sales account. They are doing the outbound calls. That's all I know about call center. That's all I know, but that's actually a lot. And I can sense that you've clearly done your research and that's very good for you. Well then, I think we can proceed now to the interview questions, right? So, I'd like to know how do you usually handle feedback in general, Rene? I'm an optimistic person and I'm taking feedback in a positive way. Um, I just filter them as long as it can help me grow as a person, as long as it can help me improve or enhance my skills and knowledge, I will take them positively. Okay, so you take the criticisms positively as yes. a constructive feedback. Yes, that's right. All right, moving forward to my next question to you. Actually, Rene, one of the uh, challenges here in the industry is that we encounter constant change in our standard operating procedures, all right, on a daily basis. So can you tell me about, let's say, a situation in your academic experience before where you dealt with something similar and how did you handle it? Actually, I'm a fast learner and I can easily adapt with constant changes. Back in my college days, I had this professor who was actually inconsistent as well in giving procedures. I was able to adapt by providing a lot of options. I'm always creating plan B and plan C so that whenever I encounter some changes, I can easily adapt with. And regarding the schedules, I also often experience that, that sometimes the deadline was changing. So I really need to give some time. I always need to give allowable time in order for me to finish something so I just don't waste my time in nonsense things so that whenever they have changes in deadlines I can easily pass something I can easily meet the deadline mm -hmm. so you always have backup plans that yes right? that was my agenda before mm -hmm. that's great to hear and you mentioned that you can easily adapt and you know you're very flexible and versatile so, can you describe to me, Rene, your attitude when you're working with multiple tasks? I'm a great multitasker and I can work with multiple tasks simultaneously. I'm a type of person who's always creating a to-do list in order for me to be an organized, well-organized person. I'm creating a to-do list in order for me to know which one to prioritize and which one should not be prioritized. And whenever I'm creating to-do list, in this way, it helps me to think clearly in every task that I must do and this is for me to ensure that I am doing and I'm on the right track whenever I have multiple tasks. That's great. You're so you're such a multitasker. You're yes. used to it. Yes, I'm used to it. And uh, now also I would like to know your take about you know the mock call thing and 
the hiring process that we're doing. So why do you think it's important to conduct call simulation and incorporate it in our hiring process? Call simulation is very important in the hiring process of a call center industry because it can really help you filter the applicants whose the applicant can give a good delivery, whose applicant can give a good customer service to a customer. It can really help you evaluate an applicant, which one who can give a good customer satisfaction. Right, so it's one way of assessing actually. Yes, it's one way. And now to also get your retainer opinion about this. If ever, let's say you'll get hired, you'll be put in a team, and your team leader decided something, let's say your team leader gives you a solution that you don't totally agree with, what will you do about it? Okay, I will still give him or her a chance. If he already had a decision, um, regardless if it's majority decision or not, I will still give them a chance because team leaders are team leaders and they know what they are doing. They are not going to be in their position if they don't have the skill, they don't have the knowledge. As a team member, it is my number one responsibility to follow. So just in case the team leader asks me to speak, then that's the only time I will speak. Or to give your opinion. To give my opinion or suggestion. Yes. That's so dead well. That's good for you. All right, now, Sorene, given the fact that you'll be working in a customer, let's say, service field, and maybe you'll be setting something or you'll be catering to some concerns, specifically, say, for example, imagine you're selling to a customer. So how do you think you can convince a customer to switch to your network or internet provider? Of course, first, I will need to investigate. So I will ask probing questions to my customer, the current plan that she or he has, and then the monthly payment that he or she is paying, I will ask all of those. And then once I evaluated everything that I need, I will offer now my product or my network provider. I will tell him or her about the features that she can enjoy, about the additional plan. I will maximize everything, the resources, that everything that we have like freebies, discounts, to convince the customer. I will offer everything. Wow, that's nice to hear. I can see that you already have such a game plan, and that's nice yes. for you, actually. And now, I think this is such a common question that you're hearing or you're encountering when you were doing your research before, but I'd like to know what's your strategy or what will be your strategy in handling hiring customers? First thing that I should do is to listen to the customer and then I will let him or her vent out or express its um, frustration or disappointment in regards to the product or service that she encountered. And then after that, I will give a current statement. I will empathize when needed, of course. And then after verification process, if necessary, I will verify the account. After that, I will resolve the issue by maximizing all the resources, the products that we have. If we can give a one-time courtesy, any freebies, just to pacify the situation, I will do that. And of course, I will do extra mile just to pacify the frustration of the customer. And that's it. I'm going to resolve the issue with the best thing that I can do. Point well, Major, and I think you really came prepared for this interview. Well, thank, uh, you. thank you so much. That's it for the final interview. And I believe you're ready to proceed with the mock call. I guess so. All right, so now we'll be having the mock call uh, scenario. So again, this is the role play part of the interview, all right? And I'd like to know, have you received your mock call script? Yes, I have it. All right, that's nice here because uh, that will serve as your product knowledge, all right? So okay. all the information that you'll be needing is in there as well as the actual scenario, all right? Okay, okay. Okay, and again, you may keep the paper open or with you while we're doing the mock call later. Right? Okay. Okay, and I guess you've already prepared for it as well? Yes, I already read it and practiced. Okay, that's nice to hear. So, shall we start or do you need more time to practice it? I guess we can start now. Alright then. So yeah, just to uh, clarify again, this will be our scenario, Ren. The customer is calling because she keeps on getting charged for her monthly bill amounting to $75, alright? So your end goal here is to provide what you think will be the proper resolution. Okay? Mm, okay. So you have to show the process to me. How will you be uh, catering to that concern? Okay. Maybe okay. I'll just explain to the customer the situation. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have to demonstrate that to me. All right. Okay. Okay. And again, when I say ring ring, you're gonna start throwing the opening spill, and then uh, the call flow will follow. All right. Okay. Ready. Ready. All right then. So ring ring. 
Thank you for calling customer service. My name is Rene. How can I assist you today? Okay. So, yes, hi Rene. I keep on getting charges from my monthly bill and I'm paying on time and sometimes in advance, but why am I getting charged for no absolute reason? I understand that you're calling about the charge and I completely understand it. I know that this is confusing. No worries, let me check on this. May I have your name and account number? Yeah, sure. My name is Samantha Smith. Number is 0012-9356-5574. Thank you. One moment, please. I'm so disappointed with your service, honestly. I thought I would have a good experience once I tried your service. But you know, I actually keep on getting charges from... I don't know where it came from. I know that you are so much disappointed, Samantha, but I apologize for that, to be honest. I said from this, is there anything else that you don't like about our plan? I mean, no, actually. It's just the unknown charges. Alright, upon seeing here, the reason why you keep on getting charges for your monthly bill is that your payment every month is not full. Your monthly bill is $75 and you paid $50 monthly only. That's why the balance keeps on adding every month. Oh, I see. So it means I'm only paying $50 and the rest is being incurred in my other monthly bill? Yes, that's right. To avoid charges in the future, please pay your monthly bill. With the exact amount, total of seventy-five dollars monthly. Oh, I see. Yes. Is there anything else that I can assist you with, Samantha? Well, actually, there's no. no. Thank you for clearing everything, Rene. Okay, no worries. I'm glad that you cleared your confusion. Again, thank you for calling customer service. My name is Rene. Have a great day. All right. Well, that's it for the mock call, Rene. How was it? Actually, I was nervous, but it was fun. That's nice to hear that you had fun doing the mock call. Are you interested to be in the call center industry? We got you because we have tons of open positions here in Medicom. We are continuously hiring customer service representatives, technical support representatives, USRN along with PHRN and tech roles such as Java developer, system developer specialist, and system developer analyst. You may enjoy signing bonus, various allowances, account incentives, and HMO benefit aside from your basic salary. To start your application, just click the link in the description box below and fill out the form.